continuing the Ting Optimus S startup video series, today we're looking at customizing your Optimus S with your favorite apps, widgets, and wallpapers. As you browse the Android market, you'll find your phone quickly loads up with indispensable apps. Rather than sorting through your app tray to find and launch an application, you can add your favorites to one of your home screens. In your app list, tap and hold on an app you'd like to add to your home screen. Drag the app to a blank spot on your home screen. To move an app shortcut, tap and hold. Now you can drag the app shortcut to the left or right to change home screens. When you're satisfied, release to drop it. Likewise, you can delete an app shortcut from a home screen by tapping and holding. The app tray icon turns into a trash can. Drag the shortcut over the trash can until it turns red and then let go. This won't delete the application from your Optimus S. You're just getting rid of the shortcut. The Android operating system also lets you add widgets. These are handy windows into your applications that present information at a glance. To add a widget, tap and hold on a blank space on the home screen. In the menu that appears, choose Widgets. Scroll through the list of available widgets. When you find one you want to add, just tap. You'll be dropped back to your home screen where your new widget now resides. Move widgets just like you move app shortcuts. Tap and hold and then drag to reposition and release. You can also trash a widget in much the same way. Some applications in the Android market come with widgets, so check your list of available widgets from time to time. Finally, let's have a look at the wallpaper options available in Android running on your Optimus S. As we scroll through our home screens, you can see that Android handles wallpaper a little differently than other mobile operating systems. Rather than putting a static image on each of your phone's home screens, Android offers a slightly different view on the picture on different home screens. To change the wallpaper, tap and hold on a blank spot on your home screen. Choose Wallpapers. To set wallpaper from a picture you've taken, tap to enter the gallery. Scroll through your pictures and tap to select one. Next, we have to position the on-screen cropping box. Tap and hold on one of the lines and then drag to resize the box. You can also tap in the center of the cropping box to reposition it. When you're satisfied with your selection, tap Save. You'll be dropped back to your home screen with your new wallpaper applied. You can also select a stock image wallpaper by choosing the Wallpaper menu item. Scroll through the available options. Check out the preview, and when you found one you like, tap Set Wallpaper. Again, you'll be dropped back to your home screen with your new wallpaper applied. Finally, we have the option to use what's called Live Wallpaper. This is unique to Android and offers a more dynamic background. However, remember that Live Wallpapers will have a small impact on your phone's battery life. Scroll through the available Live Wallpapers and tap one to get a preview. When you've found one you like, tap Set Wallpaper. Now you'll see your new Live Wallpaper applied. Some live wallpapers respond to action. For example, the next